my name is Kim Coventry and today I'm going to show you my easy French toast recipe. If you haven't had a chance to check out my other videos, please do at Fit Kim TV on YouTube or you can go to my blog at FitKim.com. Now, breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day and everyone knows this. Um, people will recite this to me all the time, but when I take a look at their nutrition logs or just their initial assessment on eating, a lot of them um, are, could make better choices for breakfast. I would say the biggest objection I get for uh, making a healthy breakfast is time. So I'm going to show you how easy and quick it is to make this French toast recipe and it is healthy, it's super easy, and it's really, really good. So just make sure you are starting off with a health, healthy breakfast and studies have shown that if you eat a good sized breakfast and it's well balanced, you'll actually eat less throughout the day and you'll burn more calories than those that eat a very small breakfast or skip breakfast altogether. So I'm going to list all of the ingredients, the directions, and the nutritional content on my blog. So make sure you check that out. So just follow along and um, you'll be ready to go. And just try this recipe and tell me what you think. So we are ready to start our French toast. I've already taken coconut oil and I put it in the pan. I used one teaspoon, so not too much, uh, over medium heat. And this pan is kind of falling, sorry. <laughs> and then um, this is all everything you'll need. So like I said, it's super simple. So you are going to need one egg, so just crack your egg and make sure none of the shell gets in there. Then you're also going to need a quarter cup of egg whites. So pour that in there. Then what you're going to do is take about a teaspoon of cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so for me it's more the better. Um, this is probably way more than a teaspoon, so if you're not a big fan of cinnamon, you can go ahead and use less of that or more depending on how much you like. And then you're just going to whisk it up. Just make sure everything mixes together. It smells so good already. And you can time me on this. This does not take very long at all. Okay, so we're done with that. Then what you're going to do is take your French toast. Well, it's not French toast yet. Take your whole wheat piece of bread. And I'm just going to do one today, but you could do more than that. So this is just for one. So you really want to actually make sure it's nice and absorbed. And then let's just, once it's all soaked up, you're going to flip it over. You might have to wash your hands after you do this. But again, just kind of make sure that the mixture is nice and soaked up in there. Okay, and then all you're going to do is place it right on the pan. And you got to wash it because it's going to happen pretty fast. So again, on medium heat. And then we're just going to lay it right on there. You can put a little of the extra on it if you want. And you really have to watch it, so just keep an eye on it, have your spatula ready to go. And then before you flip it, you can just take a quick peek and see how it's coming along. So it still has probably another minute. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. And then once you've flipped it, you can kind of check. It should be golden brown. I might flip it one more time because I like it pretty crispy. All right, so each side is probably cooked for one to two minutes each. Just make sure, again, golden brown. Go ahead and turn it off. And then just put it on your plate. And then we are going to top it off with a yummy treat. Okay, so how quick was that? That did not take very long at all. So you have a couple different choices as far as how to top it off. I'm going to use 100% pure all-natural maple syrup. I, uh, rarely get something so sweet in my diet, so I'm super excited. 
and you really want to limit it because all even though it's real it's still a ton of sugar so maybe a teaspoon just not very much and you don't need very much at all um, another option would be you could use raw honey that's a really really good one to put on here and then one of the things I love to do it just takes a little bit longer is I'll take either fresh or frozen berries and I will kind of I'll put them in a saucepan and just put them over low heat the whole time I'm cooking this and then I'll top it with the berries and it is so fresh and good and it's healthy and you don't even need anything else so you could do that too if you wanted to so it smells so good mm, super good <laughs> you taste the cinnamon but it's very subtle and think about it, we've got our whole grains in here. We have one egg and a quarter cup of egg white, so plenty, plenty of good protein. And then a little bit of sweetness just to uh, add a little treat to it. So um, just a great, well-balanced, uh, yummy treat that you can have for breakfast and feel good about it, and also to feed your family as well. So try this. Please post a comment, any variations to this, any questions you have. And I really appreciate you watching. So if you like this video, please subscribe at Fit Kim TV on YouTube or go to my blog at fitkim.com. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you soon.